Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Paulina and I'm a third year medical resident currently practicing in general medicine. So in today's video, we're gonna be covering lisinopril and why we usually prescribe it for high blood pressure. First off, what is lisinopril? So lisinopril belongs to a family of drugs called ACE inhibitors, and ACE stands for angiotensin converting enzyme. So therefore, it works by inhibiting that enzyme. Lisinopril acts by helping your blood vessels dilate, and then it allows for blood to flow more smoothly. And this allows your heart to work more efficiently. Lisinopril is considered a first-line treatment for hypertension, but it can also be used in conjunction with other drugs for treating heart failure and also for treating a person who just had a heart attack. Common U.S. brand names are Prinavil, Cubrellis, and Cestril. All these medications have the same active ingredient, so they work the same way in your body. So when do we prescribe lisinopril? Lisinopril is used as a first-line treatment for treating hypertension. It can be used alone or sometimes it's used in combination with other medications to lower the blood pressure. How do you take lisinopril? So lisinopril can be taken with or without food, but the important thing to remember is that you want to continue taking your lisinopril even if your blood pressure is normal. Anytime that your doctor is prescribing you a medication, you want to be consulting with them if you're going to discontinue it. So how do we dose lisinopril? So lisinopril comes in a 2.5 milligram, 5 milligram, 10 milligram, 20, 30, and 40 milligram tablet. So here's a typical example. You're starting lisinopril, a good starting dose would be about 10 milligrams. Again, this is going to depend on what your blood pressure is at baseline and if you have any other medical problems that are going on at the same time. But let's say we start at 10 milligrams and then your doctor uh, says, come back in a month and we'll check your blood pressure. If you come back in one month and your blood pressure is still not at goal, then what they'll do is usually increase it by a one-step um, one step plan. So that means doubling your daily dose up to 20 milligram. The overall, um, the maximum amount of uh, lisinopril is about 40 milligram. What are some side effects that you should be aware of? So before I get into this, I want to say that people can develop side effects or reactions to medications at any time even if you even if you've been on it for a while it can be in the beginning or if you've been on it for some time so um, the most common thing that we really see in the office is a dry cough it's just kind of like this nagging cough that won't go away but otherwise you feel well you don't feel sick other things that are less common but definitely worthwhile to know um, any allergic reactions or um, something we call angioedema, which can be swelling of different body parts. And those are really the main things that you should be watching out for. If you notice anything else out of the normal, definitely make sure that you communicate that with your doctor. So what interactions does lisinopril have with other drugs? So it's really important for your doctor to make sure that they know all of the medications that you're on because um, lisinopril can interact with some medications, specifically aliskyrin and sacubitril. These two medications have a common way of acting and this can lead to more side effects. Some of the most commonly asked questions about lisinopril are, can you take it while pregnant or breastfeeding? So the answer is no. Um, the reason why is because it can cause damage to the baby. What happens if you miss a dose? So I would say, as soon as you remember, go ahead and take your dose. And if you're close to your next dose, then go ahead and just skip that one. Again, make sure that you're not taking double the dose because this can definitely lower your blood pressure. 
So taking a medication like lisinopril will not cure hypertension, but it will definitely help you manage it. I would definitely say that it's important to continue taking your medication as it's prescribed exactly how your doctor said and to follow up regularly. So that's it for today's video, guys. I hope you learned something about lisinopril. Like, share, and subscribe, and let me know in the comments down below what kind of topics you want me to be covering. I definitely want everyone's questions to come in and for us to just learn together and hopefully be healthier together. And as always, be good, be safe, and be healthy, friends. Bye.